Hello, welcome to my channel. I think I'm all set with the camera. <laughs> I'm looking at it, it looks pretty good. Hope you are having a good um, Friday and ready to make some new things. I've got some um, Easter projects going on and um, one of them is something that I made years ago um, quite often when I sold on eBay I did scrapbooking and I was in a group and we did auctions and we did quite well I don't know if anybody else makes these baskets um, I didn't see anybody else I came up with the idea myself when I was doing that kind of thing and so I thought I'd share it with you because Easter is April 9th which isn't too far away um, so we have time and you know how time goes it just goes out the window really really fast so we want to maybe get started on something these are um, this is a journaling card that I scrapped and I put a file folder on the back another one all of these graphics are my own and they are available in my Etsy shop and uh, I have like I'd say a mega Easter collection is probably the only uh, Easter graphics I'm going to do. Button. I love it. Old grungy looking button. And so um, it's going to be, it's up there now. And here's a preview, a little preview of some of the stuff. I'm hoping you can see it. I can't really see my monitor anymore. But um, I've got a lot of baskets. I've got a lot of uh, rabbits, all different styles. And I like to have a little fun. And if you've stayed around me any time long, you know that. So I wanted to make bunnies that were doing different things. So I made these little two little girl bunnies and they're eating cake. I mean, it's Easter. And some beautiful um, graphics and roses. I love that. And then we've got some vintage kids with a big Easter basket. That's my Easter bunnies. I don't laugh. It's not really great, but it works. Some vintage um, chick baskets, some pretty baskets. Oh, and these little chicks are so cute. There's about four of them in the in the collection. And uh, I didn't print them all out because it, <laughs> there's too much. These I have bigger. They're the same size as this, but I want to use them on something. So I shrunk down the, the picture. This is an inch and a half. And I made some nice young people with their Easter baskets and some roses. I made a lot of bunnies, a lot of different ones. And I used them in a lot of different ways. So here's some more kids. And this one is a little, I would say, Easter bunny shack or potting shed where the bunnies hang out. And this one is my favorite, and it took me the longest. Two women's, two Easter bunny ladies sitting on a park bench with Easter eggs and their own basket. And I, I found these little hats to put on them that I had collected in my graphics a long time ago. More Easter um, baskets. I'm not going to show them all to you. There are a ton, okay? Chocolate eggs. Now this one kind of matches... This little guy, this is the female part of, even though she's bigger, because it's just, but they're the same idea. Okay, oh, and these little Easter Bunny ladies are having tea, of course. And this bunny is sitting on the chair. So what I want to show you today is how to, oh, also, yeah, I forgot. Before I get going, I forget what I'm doing most of the time. Let's put these here. I am working on a, an, an Easter journal, and I think I'm going to put this basket on here. I've got a lace doily here and um, some applique, and I just, I think, I think that's enough. I think, I don't think I need any more, but I'm not at that point yet to tell, so I'll let you know. <laughs> but here is uh, some of those Easter chicks. And I made them into tall tags because I made this tall. Don't ask me why. I just did. You know, you do what you like and at the time. And <laughs> then you have to answer for it later on. You can't always do that either. 
So I put some, um, these are my own graphics. They're not included in the kit because I thought, well, I only made about four different styles and I figured that's not enough if you're going to be doing a junk journal. So I just kept them for myself and I'll use them. Um, this is kind of a vintage, I made this like on a wallpaper type thing. And let me see, I could put a bunny there. Now, where's that little guy? He could go there, there. I mean, there's so many bunnies. I made so many bunnies. I had fun doing it. This is not finished. I will finish it soon, I hope. I blew up one of these. This is a graphic that's included, and I made it eight and a half. Well, actually, it's five and a half by 11. And this is a little tuck spot here. And the cross. I made a couple of these, and the real reason we celebrate Easter is because what of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ did for us on the cross and we need to be thankful every single day for that not just once a year oh my gosh no um, I made some flowers here oh and this is a tuck spot you could even put a basket in here isn't that cute I love doing different things that nobody else thinks about well I mean oh and I did put a basket here I used a lot of washi tape because I wanted to really make the, the um, uh, pages secure. It always bothers me that I'm always thinking they're going to fall out, but, you know, I know they don't. And then this is a pocket, and I could put some little girls. And so here is that same Easter. Now, the graphics that I used are in my on my uh, collection. These, This and that I used for this one. And for the pink one, I used him. And these are the exact size I use. And what I'm going to do, I have a pattern that is going to be in my Facebook group. And it's free. And it's on an 8.5 by 11. You're welcome to take it. And uh, I will show you how to use it when we get to that place here in the video. And um, it's the exact size that I made these. But you can enlarge it, you can uh, make it smaller, and they will be in my Facebook group, and I will leave a link below for you to join if you want to. It's absolutely free. No obligation. <laughs> okay, more pages, some lace. I got a long ways to go. Um, yeah, here is a, a page where I printed the cross and Lily's on there, and I have this lace that I got off of a dress. Now this page is another page I made. This is in my rose kit of graphics on my website. And I I wanted to have the whole page, but I didn't have it right. So uh, what, I, what did I do? I just folded it, and this could be a nice place to put a card, uh, to put uh, anything, you know, that you want to... Uh, journal or tag or anything like that. Again, more washi tape. You know, I bought a lot of washi tape uh, at one time thinking I was going to use a ton of it. So, yeah, I'm going to use it. And you should too. You, we should all use our washi tape. Okay, and, and actually I glue under there. It's kind of ridiculous. You pay all this money for washi tape, then you have to add your own glue. <laughs> oh, well, what we do, right? We're just uh, sheep to the slaughter. <laughs> just show us the way we'll go. Okay, so, and this is a pocket here. And so things can go in here. Oh, I know what I'm putting. Okay, I made this as a tag. And where the Easter Bunny is, the basket, I made this to go behind it. I think that's okay. And the little girl with their Easter basket. So when this is done, I will be doing a flip through to show you. Until then, today, I just want to show you how to do these baskets. And they're really quite simple. You, you know, if you ever um, had a loom, a potholder loom, and you uh, made a potholder, maybe in uh, vacation Bible school or camp or something like that, you will understand this concept very quickly because it's all it is so what i did i hope i'm still in frame what i did here this is the pattern i cut this out and i only use this part i, d I just throw the rest away 
You don't need the back here. You don't need the top. And this is it. So let's get rid of that. And what I do is I cut strips of paper. Now on this particular basket here, I used handmade paper. Okay, I don't have very much of it, so I use it sparingly. And that's why this one looks like it does. It looks textured, you know. And it also came out a little bigger than the other ones because it's got some oomph to it. You know, it, it's, it's, it's bigger. And it's soft, and so it's very easy to work with. Um, what I did with this is I used cardstock and also with the pink. I just used cardstock and I embossed the cardstock. And this one, I embossed the cardstock as well. You can't see it too much uh, with dots. And this one, I had a wood uh, grain embossing folder that I didn't know I had. And these were only like four by. I want to say five. I don't think they're six. They might be six. And that still works. You don't need to have the full length of your card stock. That's one thing you don't need to worry about. You can do it in pieces. So what I'm doing here, is that my paper scissors? Of course not. <laughs> Why would I bring the right scissors? I can't, you know, I can't ever do anything right. Okay. Well, we're going to do this. I do have my art glitter glue. I'm going to move this out of the way. And the first thing you want to do is trace your pattern onto your cardstock and make sure that it's the same color as the strips. You want to, um, these strips are cut quarter inch strips, the full length of the cardstock, and you're really not going to use the full sheet of the paper maybe a quarter of it. It doesn't take a lot. You can see it's not very big. But what we're going to do right off, we're going to glue right along this edge. And we just put a little bit of glue. You don't need a lot because we don't want it glued down like a ton. You start at the bottom and you leave a little on the outside because we're going to turn it under. So you don't want it to go right to the edge. You want some to go on the outside. But you do, you probably will, this one, come down beyond the base. Well, that one didn't, but usually they do. Okay. All right. And then you can just clip it and do the next one. And just make them, oop, that didn't give enough room there. Make them straight across the best that you can. Clip it. Do another one. Flip it. Did I bring my ink? Nope, didn't bring my ink. Yeah, okay, so we're going to keep going. I inked up my... that one. I inked up the others, the other uh, brown one too. Clip it. Just keep going till you get to the brim. And we don't want to cover the brim because we don't need to. We're going to do something else for the brim. Keep going like that. Keep going. And I think we're at the end here. All right. So this is what the back looks like. This is where you've glued on the front. This is not glued down. Do not glue this down because you're going to need it to open up every time you, you're going to weave the rest of them through here like that to make the basket. And now what we're going to do is fold this over on the basket to make the shape and we're going to glue it down. We do want this part to be secure because you're going to be moving these up and down and you don't want them to come off. Okay. Oh, I should have brought a paper towel too. Um, okay, so then you take you take a long strip. You can cut. I cut these in half. I, I cut them. I clip them. They're too big. So I just do this. Get myself a few of them. 
you really only need about five. And you don't be doing any glue. Well, yeah, you will be. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so the first thing you do is lift this up as far as you can. Put this one under and then... Okay, hold still here. Lift this one, the next, the other one up. Skip one and lift this one up. Skip one and lift this up. Okay, then you want to push this right up to where you can, as close to the edge as you can. Fold it over and glue. But don't glue the top down. You can fold it, but don't glue it down and you can clip it so it's not in your way. Then you take the other one and you do the exact opposite. So you start with this one going over and this one going under. Skip one and over. Skip one and over. And you've got your second strip. And you can see that you are weaving a basket. Okay, turn this over and glue it. And you can fold that and clip it, but don't don't glue it yet. All right, we'll take the next one. This one is going to be the opposite of the last. So you're going to go over the, the first one and under the second one. Skip one and bring it over. Skip another one and bring it over. And you are at the top. Make sure it don't fall out. Okay, what did I do? Did I do it right? Sometimes you will mess up. Yes, I did it wrong. Okay, this one needs to go here. You do have to pay attention because <laughs> it's easy to skip them, you know. But it's such a little thing. It doesn't take that much time to figure out and to work with. It's just fiddly, you know. You just have to fiddle with it. Okay, all right, there we go. So now you have your third one and you start kind of straightening it up because you're going to go to the other side. So let's glue this. And chop that. And then do the next one. And make sure your dots are facing out and you don't have them upside down because that happens too. So this one's got to start over and we're going to go over, under, over, under, over, under, and there you go. And let's glue the bottom so that it doesn't move around too much. And fold the top down. Okay, and then we're going to take this, will probably be our last one. It's one, two, three, four, yep, five. Well, what I like to do here when we get close to this other side, I like to turn these over and I'm going to make them a little smaller. And, I, and I'm going to put them over the side of the basket so I can see what I need on this other side, on the front, on the front. Okay. So here I can see the shape of my, um, I'm going to cut this off here, I don't need that whole thing. I can see the shape of my basket. I can form it, fold it. I'm not going to glue it because I think I need one more here. Yeah, it looks like I could use one more. So I'm going to open it back up. Now that it's all shaped, it'll just go back in nicely for you. All right, so this one's got to go over. And then under, then over, and under, over, under, and over. Okay. And I do have it. I do have it right here. Yep. 
worked out good. And now I'm going to push them down again to see where I want this strip to go. Okay, I want it over a little bit. You have to play with it and adjust it. I, I think that's probably the most time consuming of it all is just adjusting it. And that's not really hard. It's such a little thing. You can make psh, 10 of these in an hour. Okay. Not that you might want to, but just saying you could. All right. So now we have that. And now I'm uh, there. See, I don't like things glued at the top because if you have to move anything and you can, even though it's glued at the bottom, it's good to have some flexibility until the very end. Okay, so we're going to go down like that. Glue these all down. All right. We're not worrying about the brim right here. I'm going to show you. See, I messed up. <laughs> I got two the same. That's all right. I mean, it's a paper. It's a it's a paper... Um, I don't have a... I didn't bring paper towel over here is what I didn't do. Okay, it's a paper basket. I can easily throw it away and make another one. <laughs> I always tell that to my kids. Yeah, I can take you out and uh, make another one look just like you. <laughs> I'm getting a little too old to say that now. And they just laugh at me. Okay, one, two. Now for the brim here, we're going to... What did I do that for? Okay. We're going to glue three long strips. Okay, so you do want three long strips. Um, and you're, you're going to want... Make sure you put them right sides up. Yeah, it really doesn't matter. Make sure you got three long strips for the handle, too, which... Well, I'll use a, a different one. Okay. And what you do is you hold that... And you just start twisting. Twist the paper and push it. You, you really have to manipulate it to make it move because it doesn't want to. It says, no, I want to go straight. And you got to say, no, you're going to move. And you just twist it. Now with the homemade paper, it's fantastic. In fact, I will do that for the handle and I'll use these because I don't have enough for... You can mix and match everything. I mean, you can do whatever you want. They're kind of fun. I put lace on them. And I'll show you with the handmade paper what it looks like. It's a lot easier to work with. Okay. So that's already dried. I mean, it's... I love this paper. It just rolls so nice. I also, I used to do this with mulberry paper. Um, paper that we bought on, on um, eBay from people that made tear bears. I made tear bears. I made all kinds of them. And yeah, I used to sell them. And boy, did I get some money for my tear bears. <laughs> Those good old days are gone. All right, you just want to keep twisting it. You're not braiding it. You're twisting it. And you take your your um, basket, and you see that you have enough for the top. Then you start gluing. I use always use the hot glue for this because you want it to dry quick, and you want it to stay in place. I gotta check the clock and make sure I'm still recording. Okay, now we can keep going. Oh, look what I did. I put it down too far. It's because I can't really see what I'm doing over here. <laughs> I do better work when I'm alone. No one's watching. Okay, so what you do after you fix your mistakes, you you bring this around and you glue it. And then you cut 
you know, cut the excess. Okay, I usually do two of them. With this one, I did two. Okay, so I think I'm going to do one more so that I can show you how to decorate it with the grass, which is eyelash trim. I'm sure you know it, what it is. And also, the other thing you can do is you can take some natural jute twine and you can braid it and you can make a handle that way, like so. And that's cute too. And that's what I did on this one. You can see it in the back here. I just braided some twine and put it on there. But let's make this. I don't want to put hot glue on there. My fingers are already going. Eh. Sticking to everything. All right. Uh, you can use hot glue. Sure. Whatever you, glue you want. And we're just going to twist and twist. I love this paper. It's so soft. Be careful, though, you don't rip it. Now, with the cardstock, you have to push it and shove it and oh, forget it. <laughs> I actually tried to crumple some up, wrinkle it up. I think if you used a, a lighter weight, if I used a lighter weight paper, I would do better with that. Okay, so now I've got enough, I think. to go all the way across. My poor glue gun is a mess. I usually am not so messy with this. <laughs> Why is it when the camera's on you get so nervous even though nobody's in the house? Nobody's around. They're all working. What am I doing? Having fun. Getting my fingers glued together. Alright, so then you want to Bring the second one around. Clip some of that off and make sure this is nice and secure. Bring that around. I do have a silicone thing with me. I don't know I'm not using it. All right, here we go. I hate getting glue on my new pads, but it's what you do. It's what you gotta do. All right. Okay, so what I did with this guy, with this guy here, is I cut him out of the paper, and then I cut out the flowers, and I cut out some, I cut out the chicks, didn't I? I cut out some eggs. You can see that. Where'd the other eggs just go? I lost my eggs. Actually, what I did next was I inked this up. I inked it all around on the sides. And I even inked the... Just, just pretend you're not seeing this. This is ridiculous. But you can see the finished, <laughs> the good ones that I wasn't nervous about. Okay, so what I do, um, let's put the handle in. What you do for the handle is the same thing you do for the brim. You have to twist it and twist it. I can show you. See, I did it on this, the pink one. That's cardstock. And I just twist it. I take three long um, strips. They're a quarter inch. Everything is a quarter inch wide for these. And I glue the top of it just like I did for here. And then I twist and twist and twist till I get enough. And I hot glue it onto the basket, and that's how it comes out. But for the heck of it, I'm going to glue this twine one on here so that I can show you other things. I love hot glue, and I hate hot glue. And I bet you do too. Okay, so we've got this. All right, let's twist it. See how about how 
far I want that and about where. Yeah, that's okay like that. I'll just take and glue it down. Okay. Let go of that. All right, now we have a handle <laughs> in my dilapidated basket that isn't even inked. No shading. Oh, it's embarrassed. Okay, so then you just take and cover up your boo-boos <laughs> with your eyelash trim. Now, I got this um, shiny eyelash trim somewhere that no longer sells it. I'm not sure if it was Walmart or if it was Hobby Lobby, Michaels, or Joann's. But anyways, I haven't been able to find it um, in a few years. So I hoard it. I don't use it all the time. But I'm using it on this. Ow! Burn myself. Um, to show you, because I think it's pretty. I mean, if anything's going to look good, at least we got something, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. My dilapidated basket. It doesn't always turn out like this, I'm telling you. <laughs> so then I take the bunny, I put him in where I want him. I like him with his ears. I turn him over. And I glue him, I, I left a long, I left him kind of long so I could glue the bottom of him in. And then, well, I'm bringing his ears back for now. I want to put the eggs. In the front, I, I figure out where I want the eggs and I glue them. Now I'm not going to, I'm not doing a whole, this is not great. Ugh, this is terrible. <sighs> you know, why can't you guys be around when I'm, nobody's watching? You can see me do it all. And I don't mess up that often. <laughs> all right. So I need to have some chickies in there. So I would cut out the chicks. You can see that I forgot to do it. And then I cut out the flowers that were around him here. And I glued them to his um, strap here, his handle, which made him look a whole lot better, I think. I'm going to have to cut out these chicks because I just can't stand that. The way that looks. And I also cut out some of the flowers from the chicks. See that? I've got here one. I'm going to put it up there. You can just cut out. and uh, Paper is so wonderful because people like things even when it's just made out of paper. People go crazy for things. I used to get a hundred dollars for a Tear Bear. I mean, a lady in Australia and then a few others. And they would fight over bears made out of paper. You tell me there's not something about paper that's cool. I like paper. You can do a lot with it. Okay, so we're going to just quickly cut out these little chicks. I'm going to cut them in half, actually. So make sure you check out my Easter collection. There's a lot of cute stuff in here that I did. And there's almost like a hundred graphics. It's not quite a hundred, but it's close. It's like 90 or something like that. So then I want to glue her there. If it's a her. Well, yeah, because she's not a rooster, right? Well, she could turn into a rooster. We won't talk about that stuff. And then... I want these two like that. So that's how you do. Just glue a little bit. Put them where you want them. And you got yourself a little Easter basket. How cute is that in a, in a um, journal or in a folio or in a card? If you make cards, this is great for cards. Believe me. It really is. And people are shocked. 
They're absolutely shocked. How did you make that? That's so cute. I can't tell you how many people just can't get over things made out of paper that, um, there, yeah, I ruined that. Oh, never mind. That love this stuff like this. They just love it. They think it's so amazing that you could make this. And I love these. I think these are so cute. Here's, here is, um, Prince, the bunny prince. That's what I, I think of him. And my cutie pie over here. And this, this, uh, rabbit is in there, of course. A lot of them. There's a lot of them. Anyways, go check them out on my website. I'm only probably going to do this for Easter one collection. And that's probably it. Because I have other uh, lives to live. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I appreciate you stopping by today. And I hope you enjoyed the video, regardless of all my mistakes. And I hope you will check out my um, Etsy shop. The link is below. And I hope you will join my Facebook group. So you can get the free pattern. I have a lot of other free patterns. And I have some free graphics in there. And I'm going to put a free couple of free Easter graphics as well. To show you my appreciation for coming to my YouTube channel and watching. And if you like this video, please give me a like. I appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And until I see you in the next video, have a nice week.